Hi, good morning. This is a quick little video designed to help you awaken the body and focus the mind to start your day. Um, so just come onto your bed if you are not already there <laughs> and lay down. Coming into a wide legged Savasana, take up all the room, all the space. Arms can rest wherever feels good to you as you allow the eyes to close, soften the jaw. And just allow yourself to fully be supported by your mattress as you slowly begin to pull your focus towards your breath. Not trying to make it something that it's not, just accepting it for how it is in this moment. If your mind drifted off in those wee moments of silence, bring it back into focus by noticing the temperature of the room on your skin, by feeling the mattress support your body, and then draw focus back to the breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. If you know your IG breath, take it now, constrict the back of the throat with the next exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, part the lips. Do one more breath of your choice. Inhale. And then just provide a little bit of a wiggle into the fingers, into the toes. And on your next inhale, reach the arms long behind you overhead and then hold on to opposite elbows. Just take that softer approach. Lift the center of the chest up to the sky. Take a stretch, take a yawn. Release any stagnant energy. And then plant the arms into the ground and climb up on through the forearms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Bend into the knee, soften into your forward fold. Don't worry about it, making this super, um, super deep. We're just waking up, take it nice and soft. A little sway from side to side. And then rise up in the next in breath and cross the feet coming to um, easy seat. Hands can rest on the knees or maybe they come left hand to heart, right hand to belly. And you just take a moment to find your breath. Take time and space to set an intention for your day. 
plant the seeds of what you wish to sow. Hold it in your heart space. Visualize it to create it. Let's take a breath together. Inhale. Exhale to seal it in. Blink the eyes open. Release the hands to your side. Inhale. Reach the arms up overhead. Exhale. Left hand to right knee. Right hand behind the sitting bone. Take a twist. Draw the belly in. Look over the shoulder. Take a few breaths here. Keep that shoulder blade drawn down the side of the back so the center of the heart can lift to the sky. Exhale in your posture, inhale, reach up. Exhale, opposite hand, opposite knee. Really press the grounded hand behind the hip into the earth so you can lift and twist. We'll do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, rise. And cross. Inhale, lift. Exhale, both hands come behind the sitting bones. Inhale, lift the eyes, lift the heart, lift the hips. Take a little sway side to side. Open up the throat. Open up the mouth. You can make um, anti-clockwise and clockwise circles with the jaw. And if you hear a clicking, that's your body's way of letting you know that you also store a little bit of tension in the hips. So let's open up the throat chakra for the morning so we can say how we feel. <laughs> open the mouth and make clockwise and anti-clockwise circles with the jaw. And then in, when you've finished, no rush, you can start to take a lion's breath. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, stick out the tongue, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Back of the neck long. One more. Inhale, rise up. Give the wrists a little bit of love if they felt that. Interlace the fingers, sway from side to side. Give them a shake. Take the ankle that's behind and cross it in front and take a cross-legged forward fold. Really rip down through the sit bones, lengthen through the low back, forehead can come to the bed. Take a little sway here from side to side. Feels super comfy. Use cushions if your hips feel a little bit tight, if your knees are a lot higher than your hips. Use cushions to support the head if you need a little bit more height. For the next inhale, walk the hands in and you can make your way to tabletop. Tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, take it nice and wide. And on the inhale, let the belly be soft, tailbone rises, heart center lifts. Exhale, push the earth away, round through the upper back. Inhale. Exhale, hips draw towards the belly, chin draws towards the chest. Inhale, lift the heart. And then you can start to add those wiggles of the hips around the knees, around the feet, going clockwise, anti-clockwise. If the wrists are a little bit sore, you can come down onto the forearm. Let the head hang in between. On the next exhale, come to child's pose. Let the big toes touch, the knees go wide. The further, um, the more of a hip opener you want to take this pose, the more you bring the knees apart. So it's really up to you. I really like to take my hands to the inside of my legs and then bring a temple to the bed. It's up to you. Mm. 
We'll just take another breath here. Walk the hands forward, lift the eyes and take the left hand, palm up and thread it underneath the right arm. Come up onto the fingertips of the right arm so you get a little bit more stretch. Draw the shoulder blades towards each other and draw the right ribs back. Switch sides, right hand threads underneath, palm faces the sky. Same thing, draw the left ribs back, draw the belly button in. From here, come back to child's pose. Lift the hips, sink the heart so you come into puppy dog pose. If this doesn't feel good to you, then slide all the way onto the mat, onto the mattress, and bring forehead on top of palm. If you're in puppy dog pose, take an extra breath there, and then join us completely on the bed. Take a little sway in the belly from side to side. Then inhale, hands come underneath the shoulders and lift up into King Cobra or Baby Cobra, your call. Center of the heart lifts. Take it up and back. Rise. So from here, tuck the toes so that the heels are um, pointed straight up to the sky. We'll take some camel play just to open up the heart and get us energized. Hips are already starting to press forward so the tailbone is lengthening through the legs forward, right? Hips press forward, tailbone presses forward. Hips draw towards the belly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right hand rotates down, holds on to the heel, left hand reaches up and over. Inhale, hands meet. Exhale, left hand comes down, reach back. Then you can just sway from side to side. This is a little intense too early in the morning, Please bring the hands to the small of the back, hug the elbows in, and just open up the heart space. Or maybe you're feeling it and you wanna bring both hands to the heels. It's up to you. Wherever you are, take another breath. Exhale. Sink into gracious pose. Knees are wide, sit on the heels, take a breath. the feet around, legs are long. Left foot crosses over right leg, <laughs> left hand comes behind sit bones, right arm comes to the inside of the left thigh, take a twist. Inhale, exhale where you are, inhale turn back to center, exhale take your twist. Exhale, come to a fold. Rise back up on the in-breath and take both knees and point them 90 degree angle to the right. And then we'll pour over to the right side so that we're coming to um, a 90 by 90 recline, sort of a pigeon variation. So you can take this a little bit further by walking yourself away from your body. You can use cushion to lie on to pour yourself through that. You want to stay here for about 10 breaths. And then you can bring both knees up through center and take it over to the other side. Just pour over. Again, you can um, intensify it by walking the body away from the knee. Or you can stay nice and soft and gentle. It's up to you.
press the hands into the pillow, walk your way back towards the body, and then make your way onto your backs. Come into a happy baby pose, hug the knees in, and then reach both hands to the inside arches of the feet. The chin is pointing down towards the chest, and the ankles and knees are in line. You can straighten into the legs if you like. You can change the posture to fit your body by holding on to the backs of the thighs or the backs of the knees, or maybe even the ankles. It's up to you. Exhale. Both of you come flat on the mat. Take the right ankle and cross it over the left leg, a little sway side to side. And then take the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, a little sway side to side. You can take cactus arms. Then that left ankle comes down, draw the knees in, give yourself a squeeze and rock and roll to a seated position. We'll just open up the shoulders just briefly. Both arms come parallel. Take the right arm and wrap it underneath the left, especially at the eye of the elbow. Nice tight cross. Bring the hands back around in that double bind or make fists with the hands. On the inhale, lift from the elbows up to the sky. Exhale, coil in. Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the eyes. Keep the arms away from the body. Exhale, coil in. Inhale, last time. Exhale, unravel, take it to cactus arms. This time wrap the right arm underneath the left. Nope. Left arm underneath the right. <laughs> Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the underside of the arms to the sky. Exhale, coil in. Okay. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coil in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, unravel, open, exhale, coil in, wrap the arms around yourself, give yourself a squeeze, inhale, lift the elbows to the sky, exhale, inhale, wrap the arms around yourself, lift yourself up, exhale, one more, inhale, the eyes open if you haven't already and kick the feet around so that the backs of the knees are flush with the bed. Pour yourself over in your forward fold. Feet are flat on the floor. You can separate the knees so that they are further apart and the body is able to just pour in between the legs. In your own time, grind down through the three points of corner in the feet, the big toe, the little toe, the center of the heel. Lift the hips up off the bed and come into a forward fold. Hold on to opposite elbows, take a sway from side to side. Maybe bring the hands to the backs of the calves, bringing the forehead closer to the shins. Or maybe you like to bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and then draw the closed palms up and overhead. A few more breaths in your forward fold. Exhale fully in the fold and on the inhale, begin to rise. Just breathe in as you come up, stacking the spine piece by piece, keep the head heavy, the shoulders rounded. And then one more inhale, Lift the arms out and up. Exhale, hands draw to prayer. Blink the eyes open. So I just want to give you a quick pranayama exercise, a quick breathing exercise that really helps um, energize you and keep you focused for your day. It's breath and movement. It's three short, sharp inhales and then one long exhale. Okay, I'll give you a little demo and then you can do it with me. <laughs> See if this is the best way.
You join in. Your rhythm, your time, your movements. Energizing your body, focusing your mind. Three short, sharp inhales, one long exhale. In front, to the side, up above, down below. Stay with your rhythm. Three more rounds. Last one, just for luck. Take one full cycle of breath in your forward fold. And then in the next inhale, begin to rise. One more inhale, lift the arms out and up. Exhale, hands draw through heart center, release by your side. Blink the eyes open. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for flowing with me.